The U.S. Surgeon General issues a warning about the risk of social media. A new advisory on the mental health impacts of social media says social media platforms present, quote, a profound risk of harm on younger populations. Joining us live is the U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Vivek Morthy. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. Of course. I'm glad to be with you, Melvin and Jen. So how did you come to this conclusion that social media can harm the mental health of teens and children? And more specifically, why now? Yeah, well, you know, I'm thinking coming at this as not just a surgeon general, but as a parent of two young children and as a doctor as well, who's very concerned that the youth mental health crisis that we are living in uh, is being driven in part uh, by the experience of social media for many kids. And I, the most common question I'm getting from parents all across the country over the last couple of years has been about social media. Parents want to know, is social media safe for my kids? And so we embarked upon a review of the data, the publicly available information that's out there. And what we found reviewing that data and talking to independent researchers are two critical things. One is that there is not enough evidence for us to say that social media is in fact sufficiently safe for our kids. But we also found increasing evidence that social media use is associated with harms for our kids. So just consider this. If you're a teenager who uses social media for more than three hours a day, you face double the risk of experiencing anxiety and depression symptoms. And when you consider that the average amount of use by teens is three and a half hours a day, you get to see how this is really concerning. Uh, so I'm issuing this advisory to call the country not only to attention, but to action, because we need not only parents uh, and kids to do things differently when it comes to social media, but most importantly, we need policymakers and technology companies to step up and put in place the kind of protections that our kids have needed for a long time. What do you do in your household with your kids? Yeah, it, it, I'm glad you asked. I have two children, they're five and six, and my five-year-old daughter, even though she's in preschool, a couple of weeks ago, she came home and asked my wife and me about posting a picture on social media. We were stunned because my, we, my daughter obviously doesn't have social media accounts. We don't talk to her about social mm -hmm. media, but kids are hearing about this everywhere. So here's what we've decided to do. Uh, with our kids, we are gonna delay the use of social media until past middle school. We know that's easier said than done. And we're gonna look to partner with other parents who are similarly inclined so that our kids and, and, and we ourselves are not alone in this journey. But we're gonna reassess in high school based on a few factors. One, what the data tells us at that point about whether or not these platforms are safe for high school students. Second, whether there are real safety standards that are put in place and actually enforced. And third, we're gonna look at the maturity and development of our own children. So I know this is not easy to do, it's hard, but that's why parents need to talk about this with one another and support one another because there's power in numbers. And as parents, when we take these actions together, it can make it a bit easier for us and our kids. How have you noticed, because social media has been around for, boy, since 2006, mm -hmm. to, I think it was, um, that was when Facebook launched. But when you, when you look over the last you know, 20 years, what's been the impact there and has it kind of ramped up in, in recent history with the introduction of things like TikTok and Instagram? Yeah, there certainly has been an evolution uh, in social media over nearly two decades. And what we've seen is that in this evolution, and it's been rapidly evolving, by the way, a couple of things are clear. One is that uh, parents and kids tell us all the time that it feels like it's harder and harder for them to get off of the platforms. Because the three most common things that kids are telling me are that one, using social media makes them feel worse about themselves. Second, that it makes them feel worse about their friendships. But third, they can't get off of the platforms. And this gets to a really critical point about design. Uh, many of these platforms are designed to maximize the amount of time that our kids spend on them, that all of us spend on them. What I care about as Surgeon General, though, is maximizing our health and well-being. And that's what we should be designing these platforms to do. Safety should be the priority. And that's why what I'm advocating for is a safety first approach to social media, where we apply the same kind of safety standards uh, that we do to social media, that we do to other products that young people use, like medications and cars, mm -hmm. and say these should be the standards should be set and then they should actually be enforced. Manufacturers should have to demonstrate that their products are in fact safe for our kids and are not causing mental health harms. Right now, though, what's happening is too many kids are exposed to harmful content violence and sexual content. Too many kids are harassed and bullied online, including by strangers. 
And the excessive use of social media is affecting the time that our kids have for sleep, for in-person interaction, for physical activity. And sleep in particular is really vital for the mental health and development of adolescents. Thank you so much for being with us. This is an important conversation to be yeah. had, especially since we're going into summer and, and kids are going to be spending a lot more time perhaps at home with parents or guardians. So thank you very much for mm -hmm. coming on this morning and offering some perspective. Well, I appreciate that. It's good to be with you. And for anyone who's looking for resources on how to have these conversations with your kids, our advisory contains links uh, mm -hmm. that can help you to figure out how to develop a family and media plan and talk to your children about social media. It's more important than ever. Excellent. Thank you so much, Doctor. We, we appreciate you.